In this video, I'll show you how to use the Roll20 Audio Master script to programmatically play and stop music. And because we're talking about the API, you need to have a pro account in order to do this. So to start things out, what we need to do is install the Roll20 Audio Master script, or Roll20AM. And that script is available as part of the one-click install in the Roll20 script library. So you can just go ahead and load that. If you're not sure how to do that, I'll pop a card in the upper right corner of the screen so you can see how. But once you've got that installed, we want Roll20 AM to be able to access all the music that we have in our jukebox. The way Roll20 AM works is we tell it about the tracks that are in the jukebox and then it can play those tracks. So after you've installed, the first thing you want to do is run the following command. Exclamation point, roll 20 AM, and case here is important. You want to make sure there's a lowercase r in roll, and AM is uppercase, space, dash dash, config. And that's going to pull up this menu here with a whole bunch of options. Now, one quick aside, you'll notice there are actually two copies of the menu placed in chat. That's a known issue that the developer of the script is working on, so just ignore the first one. We'll focus on the, the second one that gets placed here. And the first thing we're going to do is click this Import Jukebox link. And what that does is gives Roll20 a list of all the tracks and all the playlists that you have in your jukebox. So this is important to know because Roll20 AM is not reading these lists, your playlists and tracks and whatnot, at runtime. It's maintaining a separate list of all the music that you have in your game. So it's very possible and likely that you will get out of sync. So anytime you add or remove new tracks in your jukebox, you want to come in here, you want to click remove all to clear everything out and then re-import. And that way you're keeping everything fresh. And in fact, if you find that you are doing this a lot, you can actually pipe in these two commands right here, and I'll put these down in the chat, but programmatically, roll 20 am dash dash config comma remove and roll 20 am dash dash config comma import do the exact same thing as running the config menu and then clicking remove all and import all. So you see it looks just like that. So you may want to just grab those, turn those into a macro, and then you can quickly refresh the list of music. Because if you add a track into your playlist and try to play it and you haven't imported it, nothing's going to play. And there won't be any error messages. It'll just be dead silence. Okay, so once you've got your music all imported, now we can start playing it. And the easiest way to launch a track is going to be with a command like this. It's exclamation point, roll 20 AM, dash dash audio, comma play, and then a pipe, and then the name of the track that you want to play. So I'm gonna play this track here called Anxious. So I'm gonna start that. Here the music has started. And if we go over to the jukebox tab, the music is playing. If I wanna stop the track, then it's roll 20 AM, dash dash audio, comma stop and then just a pipe and you hear that just stops all the music now I could have multiple tracks playing simultaneously and if we do stop and then the name of that track it will stop just that track so if I had overlaid multiple soundscapes you know I've got my background music and then maybe some goblins fighting and some people yelling if I had like three or four tracks like that I could selectively start and stop individual tracks but for purposes here just stop with the pipe will stop all the music that's playing. And those two commands, the play and stop command, are probably the ones that you're gonna be using most frequently. So it's worth taking a little bit of time to talk about them a little more. So audio, play, and then the pipe, that can be the name of a track or the name of a playlist. So you'll notice on my jukebox, I have a playlist called fight music. If I change this, I can just say fight music. And my fight music has started up. And I can stop the fight music too with that same command. There we go. 
so you can run playlists or individual tracks and you can stop playlists or individual tracks. Now let's go back to that menu that we had earlier. So there, you have the ability to programmatically change things here as well. We can set our master volume here just by clicking on it and then change whatever you want the volume to be. Personally, I think 35% is good. If you want to have fade ins or outs, there's an amount of time that you can set for that as well. So the default is 10 seconds. But how do you actually have a track fade in or out? Well, for that, you would use something like this. I'm going to start up my fight music again. All right, fight music is going. I'm going to run this command. Roll 20 AM dash dash audio comma fade comma out. Fight music. And you can hear the volume of the fight music is gradually decreasing until ultimately it's going to fade out completely. And there it goes. It's gone. So you have the ability to fade music out. You can also fade music in. So if we change the flag here from fade out to fade in, you hear the music starts very faintly. And now it's building. And it's going to build until it hits whatever you've set the master volume as. So it's going to come in in like increments of like 5%. So we'll start out at zero and then it'll play at 5% volume, then 10% volume, then 15 until it gets up to the 35% and you are now at your maximum master volume. And while you're in here, you can look at some of these other menu options. For example, if we click on playlists. This gives you a list of all the playlists that were in the jukebox at the time that you ran the config import command. And so I could run these right from here if I wanted to. Uh, and you can hover over the buttons here to see exactly what they do. You can fade things in. This would change to fade out while the music was playing. You can increase or decrease the volume of a track that's playing. Uh, and you can lock a track so that players can use it or only GMs can use it. And I'll talk more about that in a minute. Once you're in one of these sub menus, you can click on the cog to go back to the main menu. Same deal with tracks. This is a list of all the individual tracks that I have. And again, you can click on the cog to go back to the main config menu. If you want to, there are programmatic commands to get to those sub menus as well. Uh, for example, if you want to get a list of all your tracks, you can put in this command, exclamation point, roll 20 AM, dash dash config, comma menu equals tracks. And that will take you in and show you all the tracks. Again, case sensitivity is important here. If I change this to uppercase tracks, watch what happens, nothing. Right. So this needs to be lowercase here for this to work. Uh, same deal with playlists. You can see all the playlists that you had at the time by, by putting in playlists. So there you go. Now, going back to these little lock icons, what these allow you to do is give players the ability to launch the playlist via Roll20 AM. So if this is unlocked, players can use it. If it's locked, only the GM can use it. The way you'll set that is with this command. So it's exclamation point, roll 20 AM, dash dash edit, comma access, comma player, and then a pipe, and then the playlist or the track that you want them to use. So we'll use my music. And you see now my music is unlocked, which means that my players can launch the track. They can run a roll 20 play command in order to run that playlist. So if your players have special sound effects related to their spells, or if your bard has some kind of a theme song that they play when they enter the room or, or something like that, then you can have them programmatically invoke those playlists or those sound effects when a specific event happens. If you want to make something so only a GM can use it, then you're just going to change the access command from access comma player to access comma GM. And now when we run the playlist command again, you can see that the track has been relocked. Now, if we go back to the main menu here, you'll notice there's this tags option. So let's click on that. And when we do, we see we get tags, tag one, two, three, and four. But what are these? Well, tags are a special set of playlists that Roll20 AM creates. And you can assign any individual track to one of these tags. 
and these tags don't show up in the jukebox tab. So this is like your own private invisible little set of playlists that you can use in various circumstances. So if you want to assign a track to a tag, then I'm going to put in a command like this. Roll 20 AM dash dash edit set the tag that you want to assign the track to, in this case, tag one. And again, this is case sensitive. You want this to be lowercase t in tag. Even though it's uppercase here, it needs to be lowercase in the command. And then a pipe and the name of the track that you want to add to that tag. So now that I've done that, I can click on the tag name and it shows me a list of all the tracks that are assigned to this playlist. And then you can invoke that tag one playlist just as you would any other playlist. You would use the audio play command like that and then the name of the playlist. But here, the T in tag needs to be capitalized. So if I watch, if I try to play tag one lowercase, nothing happens. But if I play uppercase T, the music starts. So let's stop that. So you can assign as many tracks as you want to the various tags and then invoke the tags as you need to. To remove a track from a tag, it's a similar command, but it's unset instead of set. So this will take Anxious out of tag one's playlist. And then if we click on tag one again, we see the tag one is empty. Now, each playlist also has this button right here, which allows you to configure how the playlist will behave. Currently, the default setting is loop, meaning the playlist will start with track one, go through tracks one through X, and then start over again. If we cycle it, we can see there's also this option called together. And what that will do is play all the tracks within the playlist simultaneously. So this goes back to that soundscape example that I gave earlier, where you have, say, the, the background music and then the goblins chanting and then maybe some swords clashing or something like that. You have all those tracks playing simultaneously to give the complete ambiance of what's going on. Then there's this option here, random single, which means it's going to pick a single track from the playlist at random and play that. And then random loop means we're going to grab a particular song and then grab another random song and just keep going throughout the playlist. And then shuffle. So we'll take all the tracks, shuffle them like a deck of cards, and then play them in the new shuffled order. So you can do all these things in the standard jukebox. You know, you've got the ability to, to shuffle things or to play things simultaneous or whatnot. But the beauty of Roll20 AM here is this allows you to do those things sort of on the fly. So what I can do is, say, use this command. If I want all the tracks to play together, I can run roll 20 am dash dash edit mode together and then test tracks, which is the name of one of my playlists. And that means that's going to invoke all those tracks simultaneously. Similarly, I could change this to be random so it would play a random song from the playlist or I could set it to be single, you know, however it is you want to do it. So what this gives me the ability to do is maybe have a macro for a playlist that just plays the playlist in order you know we're going to go through having uh, track one with the background music for a particular area and then when I get to a point where a fight breaks out I can run the macro here to change this to be together and then that will launch all the tracks simultaneously so I have the whole soundscape going and then I could stop it and then restart with an individual track again later if I wanted to so this way you just put all this into your macro buttons and then you get the music starting and stopping and playing exactly how you want it throughout the course of the game. There's a complete list of all the different options available to you here on the Roll20 AM wiki page. So here, let's zoom in on this to make this a little easier to read. And I'm gonna scroll down here, for example, to this audio section. Okay, so audio, and then we see some sub commands, play, stop, fade, and then there are some examples. So the way you use these is this item right here, audio, is the main command. That's the dash dash audio command. And then a comma, and then one of these. So play, stop, fade, increase, decrease, whatever. And then the pipe, and then the name of the track that you wanna play. And that basic syntax follows through for all of the other commands. So for example, the edit commands that we were just looking at, you'd start out with Roll20AM dash dash edit, and then comma set, 
comma tag one and then the pipe for the particular track that you're working with like this one right here i'll put a link to the wiki down in the description as well so you'll have that for reference one last thing to mention is that some of the commands will redisplay the main config menu so for example after you've run a command to fade out like if i do this one right here after the tracks fade out the roll 20 config menu will reappear you may not want that so if that's the case what you can do is add one last parameter here called no menu and now when this test tracks playlist fades out the menu will not be displayed and you can use that extra no menu command along with any of the other commands so you could put it as part of a play command you could put it as part of a stop command all of those different commands can have the no menu parameter attached to them so there you go that's a whirlwind tour of how to use the roll 20 am api i hope you found this video helpful if you did please give it a like and consider subscribing and until next time folks have a great day.